Listen. If the question is, do white people now fear, the white supremacists fear, genetic annihilation, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Not now. That's why I think I call them white supremacists. See, once you get in a supreme position, you, you don't fear any annihilation, uh, except if it looks like you're losing your power. Then you have that fear. Now, up to now, they haven't displayed where they fear that they're losing that power. Uh, even though the, I believe that they are losing some of it. But gradually. But as of now, they're right on top of the situation. So, uh, they're just trying to maintain what they already have. Uh, now, I base that premise on, if it came right down to it, they would have to make a decision. If they intend to retain this power that they have, which they now have, they have to make a decision as to whether or not they're going to do justice, in which case they do make themselves vulnerable to genetic annihilation. But I would say if, if the black people are intended to replace white supremacy with justice, then they don't have it. They shouldn't have that fear, but they still might have it. But if they... Uh, believe that black people will not do the correct thing. If black, in, a, in other words, they believe that black people do not believe in justice themselves. Then they have another option, and that is to kill all the black people, which they can do. Because uh, nobody's going to stop them, because nobody cares. Not even black people care if they tell the truth. Individual black people care. But generally speaking, black people don't really care what happens to black people because black people kill each other every day in large numbers and think that it's fun. That's the truth. Because the white supremacists have programmed us that way. In fact, we think that it's cool, particularly black males. Killing black males is almost a rite of passage. As far back as I can remember, right up until this day, it's been passed on. That is a ingrained a part of black culture. It's more of a part of black culture than anything else. Black people killing and mistreating other black people is a part of black culture. If you want a definition for black culture, that's just about it. So the white supremacists have no problem with that. Because they will be killing us, and we'll be killing each other. So if they wanted to annihilate us at all, it would be a piece of cake. It would be a piece of cake. But there's a problem with it. Over the period of time that the white supremacists have been in business, they've become accustomed to it. Now, accustomed to what? To practicing white supremacy. And what is the purpose of white supremacy now? According to logic, from at least my viewpoint, and studies and observations, it's white supremacy. They're not after land, they're not after money, they have all of that. The idea of white supremacy is a value within itself. That's what they're riding on now. Now, if they kill all of the black people, then they are no longer white supremacists. And then they will have no longer a reason for existence, because they have made that their reason for existence. All of their movies, all of their folklore, everything that they do, every move that they make, proves that white supremacy is their reason for wanting to breathe, even wanting to get up in the morning. White people become lazy, really. When they are not, they don't have that adrenaline rush of practicing racism in one form or another. That's what keeps them going. That's what makes them get up real early before anybody else gets up. If they don't have that, they have no incentive hardly to do anything. Now this is based on evidence. Even when they talk about going into outer space, they are looking for people. What people? Well, their folklore tells us, look at Darth Vader, Darth Invader. Back in the 1930s, it was Flash Garden looking for the clay people. Clay people meaning people made out of mud. That was in the 1930s. So it's always this, this thing, this driving force of racism. That's what keeps them going. That's their adrenaline. That's their cocaine. And if they can't have that, 
not stir. Like to keep it going. They cannot deny this. In fact, they brag about it. Turn on any television set. That's what they're bragging about. They like to tear up things. Build things up to tear them up. They know how to build things better than anybody. But they like death. They like to see things die. Even when they nurse everything back to health. And they know how to do that. They like to kill it all over again. It's a perversion of what the universe is supposed to be about. And that's why we are having this conversation, presumably, that we need a better system. Got a wonderful planet here if we treat it correctly and treat each other correctly. But the white supremacists, as long as we have that doctrine, we won't be able to do anything that now, some people have said they've seen some cartoons of my work uh, on the Internet that have been presented, and that uh, it, it pretty well embellishes what I have been trying to say in my textbooks. And uh, to the extent that it does that, well, that has been... From what I understand, some people reported to me a plus because they didn't understand what I had written very well. But when they saw those cartoons that just repeated what I was saying and attaching my name to it and uh, came right out of the book, the material did, uh, they say that they better understood it. And I can understand that because... People are kind of visual, particularly in the year 2021 now, uh, more visual than ever.